We try to evaluate this expression here is a product of three sine values, and we're going to try to use complex number to solve this problem. One way to solve this problem is to use a very useful formula that connects the sine cosine to complex number. The expression form of complex number with modulus 1 would be cosine theta plus i sine theta. The conjugate of it is i negative theta would equal to cosine negative theta is the same as cosine theta, right? and then this becomes minus i sine theta. If you add two equations together, you can get the important property that cosine theta can be expressed in terms of the complex number i theta and its conjugate, which is so that's cosine theta. Similarly, if you subtract two equations here, if you subtract these two equations, this would cancel and you're gonna have two i here. So what you do is you have sine theta is gonna to equal to e i theta minus e negative i theta over 2i. Now another thing is I would like to further rewrite this part, the conjugate part. For the convenience of it, I would like to rewrite this as follows. Sine theta equal this 2i here, this is e i theta. But here, I want to get rid of this negative sign here, because negative 1 is actually, we noted that negative 1 equal e i pi. A complex number with the argument of pi, that's equal to negative 1. So if we do that, we can rewrite this part as and e i pi minus theta. So we're going to plug in the formula here for this e expression. So we're going to rewrite a pi over 14. So this is going to be pi over 14 and then plus pi minus 14 would be 13 pi over 14 i and you have 2i appearing with 3 times and then what we can do is plug in the 3 pi here this is going to be ei 3 pi over 14 and that's going to be 11 pi over 14 and this is going to be is i 5 pi over 14 and this is going to be 9 pi over 14. Now how do we further simplify? Take out the common terms. That's going to be e. For the first one, you can take out i14. So that's going to be i over 14. And what you remaining here is going to be 1 plus e i12 pi over 14. For the second term, you can take out this, so which is e i3 pi over 14. And what you get is um, 1 and 8. So 1 plus e i8 pi over 14. And finally, this is 5. You take it out, my common terms. 5 pi over 14. And then 1 plus e i4 pi over 14. i to the third power is going to be negative i. This is 2 to the third is 8. So negative 8 i. So what you do here is you're going to expand this term here. So for the easier notation, we use this symbol here as omega. Omega to the third power and the fifth power, combine them together, would be omega to the ninth power. For the terms here, you expand it out, you're going to have, so when you look at this, this is geometric sequence, right? 16, except there's extra term here. This geometric sequence happens to cancel. Let's write it down. So this equal omega to the ninth power is going to be 1 minus omega. The bottom is going to be omega to the fourth power. So 24 times omega 4. Now omega 28, so here's 14 here, right? So 28 is going to be 2 pi. That's going to be 1. This going to be the whole thing here. So this part equal to 1. 
So that's zero. And then, but of course, you have another term here, an x, x term here. So, so in the numerator here, you plus omega term, omega to the twelfth power, and then you divide everything by negative eight i. So what you get is omega twelve and omega nine. So this is omega twenty one over negative eight. So this is uh, e i i over fourteen times twenty one over eight i. Simply like this. This is three. This is two. So that's a negative i over negative eight i. The final expression is actually one over eight. All right, that's the result. As recall, what we did is we're going to use the famous equation here to turn this into a complex number expression, and with some simple algebra, eventually this is one over eight. We do have some other methods to solve this problem. Uh, we're going to talk about that in the subsequent videos. For this and other interesting math problems, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.